Hey everybody, I'm Ted from Tabex. In today's video, we are looking at the new updated Rust Tabex plugin. The plugin is completely rewritten from the ground up. It's a lot more stable, has better features, and this video is meant as a quick overview of how to get things connected. We will look at how to set up a package that will check if the player has the required free inventory slots, and we will look at a few of the commands that are inside of the Rust plugin. All the links that we use will be in the video description. If you have any feedback or suggestions, there will be a link to a form in the description. And of course, you can also use the comments down below. You can get the plugin from Umod, from GitHub. You can also find it under integrations, game servers, and then you can see our plugins right there. You can see I already have a server connected. If you have not done this yet, make sure you have either Umod or Carbon installed on your Rust server. Select the plugin, select the packages you want to attach or select all your packages. Don't forget to give your server a name. And then when you click on continue, you can directly download the plugin from here. Copy the command, run this on your server. This way you can link your Tabex web store to your Rust server. As you saw, there are some different options. We also have MySQL and Archon. Different connections have different benefits. One of the main benefits of using the plugin is that you can check inventory spaces before running a command. We can either create a new package, or in this case, I'm going to edit a package that I already created. Then where we have our deliverables, we can click on the options. And here it says required inventory slots. If I want to give someone five items, I can make sure that they have at least five inventory slots free, and only then it will run this command. On top of that, we can say, make sure that the player is online. And if we have multiple servers, we can also select individual servers where we want to run this command on. So we can see here inside of my plugins folder, I have the permissions manager from CodeFling and also the Tabex plugin. I already made myself admin. If I do perms, this will open up the permissions manager. I can then go to all groups and open up the default group, go to the Tabex plugin. And here we can give individual permissions to the default group. If you're unfamiliar, the default group is where everybody gets added to once they join your server. So anything you give this group permission to, anybody can use by default. Looking at the GitHub, you can see that there are admin commands and user commands. In general, you probably don't want to give any of these to the default group. So let's give access to the Tabex info and also Tabex categories. So let's do info and categories. And now as a normal player, we can see here Tabex.info and Tabex.categories. Tabex.info, just as described, we get the basic information. And if we do tabx.categories, we can see all the different categories that we have. Let's let, take a look at the packages. And here we can see the package ID. So now with this package ID, so I'm just going to say 5914188. And let's copy this. We can now try the send link. We can send a purchase link for a package to a player. So this is tabx.sendlink, then the player name, and then the package ID, which we just got. And I'll do this between quotes because I have a space in my name and then the package ID. So if I now send this, you can see, please visit the following URL to complete your purchase. And it gives me the URL. Uh, I can copy this. Then when I open this up in my browser, as you can see, the package is already in my basket. And all I have to do is click on proceed to checkout. I don't think we need a permission for this, but if you do tabex.help, you can see we get all the different commands. This will both show the admin commands and the user commands. But as we saw earlier, people cannot use anything without the proper permissions. Quickly taking a look at the configuration files, you can enable debug mode. This will give you more information if you're running into any issues. Please enable this before you send any of the logs to the support team. This is also where your secret key is stored. And we have a option for VIP nodes, allowing you to configure a message offering a limited time off. By default, this is disabled. Auto reporting is enabled by default. And talking about reporting, if you're running into issues, there is also a admin option to run a report and this can be submitted to our support team. Hopefully making it easier to find those edge cases where things don't work as intended. Hopefully this quick start was helpful. If you have any feedback or suggestions, please find the form in the description and also use the comments down below. If you're not done watching yet, you can click here on the right for our latest release or on the left for something that we think suits you best. If you think I want even more, of course, feel free to subscribe. This way you will be notified when we release new content every Friday. And as always, thank you for watching 
and good luck with your Tevex store.